Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I said I'd do a video and I'm doing it. <laughs> All the, my summer project is done. So I re-rocked this whole section here. So now it's all smooth pebble rock. Made sure there's no spaces for anything to get under the house. And this is evident that I got my two main projects done. Hey guys! Look, 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 look. I was able to find some chickens that are very friendly. They're not too crazy. How you guys doing? There's the rooster, he's black. These guys are very friendly. I guess they think I got some food, but I didn't bring the snacks out. So they're hiding underneath there. I let them. I had to build a fence there so they didn't get into the backyard. And there's a fence there, so this is like an area where they can play. It's not that big of a deal right now, but when the leaves start falling, I'm gonna start pushing the leaves to certain sections and leaving the leaves so they can scratch them and eat the bugs underneath and whatnot. That's what I did back there. And I don't know if you can see him in the wilderness. There's a chicken in there. I don't know. Can I get to it? A good angle. I don't know if I can get a good angle. But there's one back there. They like to crawl through there. I left some dirt back there for them to mess with. But this used to be a dog kennel. I might have a before video to show you what it looked like before. So I boarded up all the bottom part there to make an ed ledge all around the bottom. Got the food and the water. Got their ladder. There's the bucket I bought for food. There's their perch for outside playing around. And I had to build that huge box. I had uh, neighbors help me out that's done this before, so they had a great design for it. So I had to put bricks there because the whole point of those bricks and this gate will be for the other part of my summer project. It took me all summer. Um, so let's sneak in here for a little bit. The thing you got to worry about with chicken coops is that uh, rats will eat the food, so that's why it's a, uh, it's off the ground. And then you've got weasels that'll sneak in and try to kill your uh, chickens. And sometimes you can even get uh, skunks that'll sneak in. So that's where they go in at night. They taught me the neighbors to do a huge box what it is you see it's got level as this stuff sinks down and they do their business on it it'll turn it'll get lower and lower so then you can build it back up and as you build it up it'll compost you only have to clean this out once a year and speaking of which is, is that what I think it is they're hiding eggs see they're already hiding eggs I'm getting like three eggs a day which is amazing so we really don't want them roosting in here that's why I built those three roosting spots for them to go set in and roost and there's usually one guy that'll set and roost a lot so um, like I said we did a, I just cut down a tree and there's a branch for him I'm thinking I might have to lower that a little bit because they're having a hard time setting on it that's why they're down here on the sod so I think I'm gonna have to lower that so we're closing so some of them like I said they'll follow me so like I said they're very friendly chickens thank the Lord I didn't get ones that are fighting and run all over the place but I've got five of them so every once in a while I gotta come out and count them so here's three right here there's my rooster there's four I think the fifth one's in there somewhere. I gotta be careful. Sometimes I find them up and over the fence and I have no clue how they got over the fence. But the whole point of them being back here is so they don't, you know, get over the fence. I'm gonna set the egg here because it's dirty and I don't want it in my pocket. <laughs> but yeah, I'll get eggs like that, two or three. So that's pretty much all I need a day, but eventually I was told with these chickens during the summer, they will uh, 
lay up to 12 eggs between the five of them. So I'll be having to learn how to make a lot of stuff with eggs. So this is my project in the backyard. I put this together. I was told to wait till spring to plant two fruit trees. So that circle is going to be a fruit tree. In my la one video where I was doing an update talking about the uh, um, things I was going to look towards getting for the uh, ministry. Oh, here it goes. I thought we were zoomed all the way out. That's where it was. So I had to move it and move some plants around. And then you saw the video of where one of the plants didn't make it. <laughs> so there's the other circle. So I'm going to have a second fruit tree. And both fruit trees are going to be dwarf trees. That tree I'm taking down. Uh, it's kind of leaning towards the house and it's huge and it's will add more sun back here. I put the patio here. I did my study for my apologies to the brethren and uh, still justifying video games here. So I'll be able to do some videos here. That used to be the cover for my um, fire pit I had back here. So I tore down the fire pit and used the bricks to build a pond. So I have a pond here. I wonder if I can... I don't want to drop the camera. <laughs> That'd be a bad thing. I wonder if I can get the fish to come up. I've, I've trained them. When they're hungry, I fed them yesterday, so they don't look like they're coming up. Oh, there they go. There's one little one. The thing about the backyard here is I'm always having to throw leaves out until I can get some of those trees cut down that have tons of leaves. But I do have a huge orange goldfish in here somewhere. There he is, there he is. I wanted to start with the little fish. Uh, there's um, mosquito fish in here. Let's see if I can get them. They're right there in the sun. I don't know how they're turning out on here. But little mosquito fish. And they will eat all the mosquito eggs. They get laid in water around here. So I will I usually feed the fish every other day, maybe every three days. So and then here's your barrels. My mom says she doesn't want to know how I, I grow potatoes. <laughs> Uh, I use horse manure. You just fill the barrel up with horse manure, plant the potatoes at the beginning of spring, and by the time you're at the end of summer, these things are huge and the whole barrel is just full of tons and tons of potatoes. So this one I had built also. I still got some sand. Just taking that stuff off, but that is my tomatoes. And a lot of these plants I planted that here in the next month are all going to die because they're just stuff you got to replant at the beginning of the year. So I tried planting um, carrots in there and you can see a little bit of the sprouts. But I planted them a little too late in the year, just getting excited. Um, and these are the plants will look like for the potatoes. So it'll be really tall, probably as tall as this fence line, the top metal part there, when they get to growing. So that's what these buckets are going to be for. All four buckets are for potatoes because I do eat a lot of potatoes every morning. I built this long raised flower bed and the reason I filled it with manure I'm going to eventually fill all of these with manure and over the winter with all the rain and everything it's going to everything's going to sink down and turn into good soil and then I'll put soil on top to uh, when I first plant stuff but it'll all be really good soil uh, there's my asparagus plant that's supposed to survive it'll die but it'll grow back and next year I'll get more asparagus and less of the green, maybe. I think you probably get a lot of both. So this has been what I've been working on all, all summer, brothers and sisters in Christ. That was my uh, zucchini. Did, at first I thought it didn't make the transplant, but it actually did. There's some green leaves there that are growing really good. And a green leaf there, it's growing really good. So two sides of it survived. But I was told after all my efforts to try to save it that Come winter time, it's going to die and I have to replant a whole new one anyway. So I made a platform here for the burning barrel. So it's where I burn all my paper, uh, cardboard, anything that's considered burnables here. Burn, I can look out, look out at the stars, look on the hillside. Um, sun's starting to get go down sooner. But I also had to re-rock all of this. 
I did I did a rock like you would use on a street, like a rock road, to level it since I'm on the hillside to really pack it in, and then I put pea gravel on top. So now when I walk, it's a lot smoother, and you could actually probably walk out here barefoot now. So, and then I built these two raised flower beds, and I. Uh, Tried to move all the fruit around as best I can. Uh, my strawberries right there, my uh, squash, not looking too good, but I think that's the same thing as zucchini. I'll have to replant that next year. And then, these are actually um, peppers, um, not spicy peppers. I'm trying to think bell peppers. And they're supposed to be three different colors, but only greens grew this year. Oh, I got another one growing right there. I don't know how big he'll get before it gets cold. If it gets too cold, let me get him in the sun. If it gets too cold, then uh, I was blessed these guys survived. Um, if it gets too cold, these guys might die too. So There's my cauliflower that never grew this year. <laughs> and then I've got that is my uh, broccoli but i was told a lot of plants when you first plant them the first year when they come back the following year first year they're just getting you know roots and they're getting stable and then the next year you get a lot more fruit or not more stuff from them just like with fruit trees when you first plant them they have to spend a couple years i've talked to some of the neighbors some of their plants that they have are trees fruit trees it took like three or four years before they started getting fruit on them so this is a long haul project but I thank the Lord, everything's done. The only thing I'm going to do now is fill everything up that I can with uh, manure. And I don't know if you can see it's in the shade. It's not too late, but I'm still getting some strawberries. One thing I got to fight out here with the strawberries is uh, rats coming in and taking bites out of them or uh, chipmunks. So they're all down there. This is one spot. I got those square bricks. I'm going to level out this spot right here and you can see this uh, drain from the gutter. I'm going to try to divert it into one of those uh, rain barrels. This is a really great spot because this does the gutter all the way down and it's always dripping because it doesn't rain that much during the summer but being on the coast it uh, we get a lot of fog and mist so it gets a lot of condensation on the roof and it comes down. This spot right here is where I am. Um, what we saw on the inside. So when I go to get eggs, I just open it up and I look through there, nothing. I look through there, nothing. And what do we have here? We got an egg. I have one of them that might be one of those chickens that will set on the eggs. And if I do, I'll have baby chickens and there's a lot of neighbors that would like to, some will buy them, some of them they've been nice that I'd just be nice back and give them some of the babies. Because once hens get too old to lay eggs, that's when you butcher them and you have frozen chicken in the freezer. So that's the video and the project I've been working on all summer. I know for some people they can say, I could have had that done in a couple weeks. Well. Two things make it hard for me to do big projects. One is it has to do with finances. Trying to find stuff for free and then having to buy some stuff. So the other thing is, is I usually can only get two to four hours a day in working. Uh, before, Because like I said, I only get to work for like 30 minutes to an hour outside with the sun before I start to overheat and then I have to sit down for 30 minutes and then I get to go back to work. And one time I really pushed it and tried to work like five hours straight almost because I got so excited towards the end getting these rocks done, getting this thing built. I was blessed that getting the gate put on wasn't that hard because uh, I had tried to use an old post here. So when I kept talking in my videos, brothers and sisters in Christ, and uh, doing this video for my family too to show them what I've been doing. Um, this is what I've been talking about, working really hard, waiting for funds to come in and everything. I've been trying to, you know, I always encourage the brethren to be debt free. So also been just, you know, eating the bare necessities. Uh, one thing I do, and I know people will try to say it's not good or healthy, but I do the top ramen 
and I'll add egg to it and I'll do a little piece of bread and I was eating that a lot for dinners um, peanut butter and jelly for lunch so the Lord has blessed me at the end of the summer we got this all done I still if you see the mesh down there I still gotta do the next level and the next level and I've got to fill in these spots because this is big if I have ch baby chickens but right now since I put a door on their main entry spot at night once they're all in you check it make sure no animals are in there that's not supposed to be and uh, just close the door on them and I open it up first thing in the morning so right now they're running around I got all five now one's back there two three and there's four and then there's one in the cage five so I've got five I might be getting two more like I said they run up to me like they're wanting something but I already gave them their snack there's a little bag of snacks you can get for them that look like worms and stuff and you sprinkle them on the ground and let them go crazy but you don't want to do it a lot because you want them to eat their regular food that I have over there so this is our main project for this summer we're doing good they're all following me around now <laughs> Like I said, I was blessed with friendly chickens and a friendly rooster, so I can pick these guys up if I need to. And uh, he was free, which is why he's a different color than the other ones. And like I said, he's an overall good, good rooster. Two reasons to have a rooster: if you want to have chickens, like baby chickens, or and uh, they protect the other birds. They kind of like act like a sheepdog. Uh, they round up other the other birds. The other birds tend to stay close within a close vicinity, vicinity. I can't even say it. Close vicinity of the rooster. So that's two good reasons to have roosters, especially out here in the boonies. So they all stay kind of close to the rooster and everything. So one thing about this rooster, though, is when he finds something he likes, it's nobody else's. <laughs> so. And that's the whole thing about the what they call the pecking order, <laughs> pun intended. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, all that the Lord's blessed me with, and letting you know that there's always something you can do that you can glorify God. And I was giving God the glory in everything and thanks and everything because I don't have much strength left, uh, physical strength. And like I said, with the heat's having a body overheat, it's been a blessing to get all this done. So. God blessed me with the design, so I got the chicken coop and with the gate there. It's the back. That's actually supposed to be the front door of the house, but since the house is on the hillside, they put the back of the house where you can see the hillside and the little view of the ocean. But this is now the backyard, so that's the back door. And then I have that gate, so I can let them out to run on this section here every day if I want to. And eventually, when they get used to this area, this place is home. I can open this gate and let them just roam the property and they'll come dawn or dawn dusk come dusk they will uh, make their way back Victoria I don't know how she's gonna get used to the chickens but right now I don't let her back here when the chickens are out roaming she's got to get used to them she's I don't know if you saw one of the old videos she uh, chased birds on the beach so she likes chasing things on the beach so I don't want to give her a shot at anything here okay back up She's upset because she's used to being able to walk back here and now she's not <laughs> she's like it's not my house anymore so they're doing good they want out and eventually like I said I'll let them out here and let them roam and let them do things so I am house sitting or dog sitting <laughs> so that's Kahlua from the neighbors so uh, so that's it just wanted to write this video, uh, right, right, do this video for everybody, and um, it's been a blessing. So, next year, I'll go ahead and show it. <laughs> I have a three year project, it'll probably end up being a five year project, and that is that uh, this hillside, I've got to do some railroad ties, do steps. I want to do steps over there that go all the way down, and then a wall of uh, railroad ties and then steps coming up to where the backyard gate was over there and um, do uh, sections where I call them like raised like steps but they're raised 
like flower beds almost, but steps. Um, so I can plant things in it or put rocks or something to help strengthen this hillside. And that's, that's going to be next year's project. So that might take all summer also. Uh, and I'll have to get some help for that one. And way over there, we're not going to walk over there, but over there there's a huge section of land. There's a, I have two paths down to my well. And one's an emergency path that you can see down there. I cut a lot of trees. Let's see if we can look at it. I also cut some trees this year. Had help from my brother when he came. And uh, it opened up so I can see the trees in the distance. Those line of trees, the wind blows right through them. These trees were also bunched up so much. Um, had some dead trees mixed in with them. But there's a path down there. So all on that side of the path that you see straight ahead, there's a big section where it's not that steep. It's just a slow grade down. And I want to do a huge section uh, with a couple goats whole fenced in section with a couple goats. That's like the three to, that's why these two projects are a three to five year project. But God has blessed me. We've had rain and then we've had good days. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I can see the ocean. Uh, I can see the lighthouse today. Uh, most days you've got that haze, but some days it's really crystal clear out there. So the few days where it's crystal clear, the sun hits the water just right to make it look like silver. It's just a blessing. And brothers and sisters of Christ, I'm always looking at the clouds. Always looking at the clouds. And then saying, Lord, is today the day? Am I ready? You know, have I done every day I've lived? Am I living it for you? Am I sanctifying my life, living a godly life? My whole prayer for my life and walk with the Lord is that I always go through like King David. Um, I want to be a man after God's own heart, you know, like John, the disciple whom Jesus loved. Uh, we are created to please God, and for thy, the Bible says that He has created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. So that's why I look at the clouds and say, Lord, is there anything I need to clean up in my life? Is there things I'm not doing? Am I holding some things above the Lord? You can end up idolizing something that... Um, it's not necessarily a sin, but it becomes a sin because you're holding it above the Word of the Lord. So, that was the first part of this video. Just showing you what you can glorify the Lord with, with your hands, you know, and give God thanks in all things. So, we'll move on to the second part, ministry update. The Lord blessed me with a few other things. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, ministry update. I'm wearing sunglasses because it's really bright out here and I love these sunglasses that make things greener and everything and when I'm working outside I normally don't I don't wear sunglasses. I only wear these to drive because of prescription and when I'm sitting out here and it's really super shiny and I still want to sit out here and see the beauty that God has created. So hopefully the walking feet don't get in the way. Like I said I'm dog sitting and uh, dogs are going everywhere. I'm actually dog sitting two dogs. So, um, ministry update. Uh, I'll show a picture, but God blessed me. I was finally be able to get an H2, H2 recorder, I think what it's called. And um, they didn't have the model that uh, a brother in Christ had suggested. And so I had to get the next model up that's in uh, production. So I thank the brothers and sisters in Christ out there for prayer. Um, I was also blessed. Um, the lighting wasn't that good on my uh, chalk not chalk, uh, marker board um, studies. So the Lord blessed me with uh, getting a cheap set of those uh, lighting that reflect the light, but you don't have shadows everywhere. So praise the Lord on that. Um, so now I'll be able to start doing outdoor studies. Uh, hopefully the volume quality will be better. Um, so I can do beach studies, uh, walk and talks on the beach. Um, yeah, it'll be pretty It's pretty neat that the Lord's doing in the ministry. Um, also, another thing. Uh, I went ahead and got a P.O. box uh, for the ministry. Um, I'll put it down in the comment section and on my main about page. I'll make sure that I have our uh, the email address. I'm a little exhausted because I've been doing a lot of walking with the dogs and stuff. Um, email address. Uh, for the ministry and uh, now we got a P.O. box for the ministry. So the P.O. box is 
P.O. Box 4293, Brookings, Oregon, 97415. Um, so I'll have it down in the comment uh, section, uh, the comment, uh, description section, and on the about page on the on our on my YouTube channel. Now, um, I think I'm going to go. Uh, I uh, probably changed the YouTube name to uh, Bible Believing God Fearing Ministries. And um, so when you write a letter to me, um, Bible Believing God Fearing Ministries in the P.O. Box, or you can say Philip Newton in the P.O. Box. Uh, just whatever you like to do. Um, and I just want to warn you, brothers and sisters Christ, as you can see, so there's times I go through hard times financially, and there's times where God blesses me. Um, so this isn't a P.O. box for people to start sending me money. Um, I've got an income. The Lord has blessed me. And I'm not trying to be prideful. I understand that when brothers and sisters in Christ um, donate to a ministry, it's their way that if they're not called into ministry full time, I mean we're all called into the ministry of reconciliation, but they're not called into ministry full time, uh, that's their way of being part of that ministry. And everything, and I understand that. And uh, but there's Bible believing, God fearing ministries out there that don't have an income, and their donations is what helps keep them up and running. So I, I suggest you uh, donate to them first. Um, so it's just mainly I wanted to get letters from people. Um, I have that uh, prayer board that I'm doing. So if people want to write me and send me some a picture, so I can put it on the prayer board board so I can look at the picture and the name and I'm praying for all you guys brothers and sisters in Christ out there I've got some people on the prayer board um, and I'm always praying for the brethren so please keep me in your prayers um, so that's the ministry update God is doing some great things next month I plan on getting probably upgrading the camera to a more because this camera is more for video uh, picture taking and short videos it starts to overheat because it's old but it starts to overheat when I do my hour studies so that'll be next month so keep me in your prayers that uh, there's so many cameras out there and I've been looking at uh, people who do reviews on cameras and the cheap ones it's very hard to find a good cheap one because a lot of the reviews are coming up negative on a lot of the ones especially the ones that claim to be 4k and they're like 280 300 dollars on um, online and you look at the review, like you go to YouTube and you look up, I had a brother tell me, you just look up reviews on things before you buy something and see if it's a cheap quality, if it's a not, like it's just not doing what they say they're doing. And a lot of the 4Ks they're saying isn't 4K, it's just like barely, it's anywhere between 720 and you might get 1080 and it's not 4K quality, even though it claims to be 4K. So, um, so I'll be looking at that next month. Um, so keep me in your prayers, keep the ministry in your prayers. Um, just know that uh, I am so thankful for the prayers of my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm thankful for the encouragement of my brothers and sisters in Christ. And uh, just uh, I have a verse here I wanted to read to, read to you guys. Okay. I'm going to start uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 53. I know you can start further and it's talking about uh, the catching away of the body of Christ, but I just wanted to get in context so I can give you the verse I wanted to give you to encourage you, brothers and sisters in Christ. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruption ha shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. Remember the sin of law and death that we talked about in Romans chapter 7, I think it was, 7 or 8. But thanks be to God, which giveth the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ, the law of God. 58 is the encouragement, brothers and sisters of Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Now, like I said, um, Ministry of Reconciliation, you're abounding in the work of the Lord when you stay in this book every day, you stay in prayer every day, you study the Bible. But some of the work of the Lord, <laughs> bird over there, 
Some of the work of the Lord could be like, like I did, giving God praise and doing something with your hands that you can give God glory. I'm doing a garden so I can eat healthier. It'll save some money and it gives me something to do. I mean, there's some days, brothers and sisters of Christ, where I'm like praying that and thanking God at the end of the day that he got me through another day. And then there's some days where I'm sitting here in the evening going, has a day really gone by? Has it already gone by, Lord? So you have your tough days and you have your good days, but it keeps me busy working with my hands and keeps me doing something that glorifies God and I can give him thanks in. So brothers and sisters, keep abounding in the work of the Lord, okay? Everything you do, give God glory in it. Give God thanks in it. Do it with the best of your ability, okay? So just want to do this update and show you guys the backyard. And I just want you to know that I'm going to try to be getting more videos out because now that the backyard's done, all my major projects are done until next summer. So I'm going to be doing maintenance, I think two weeks to, two weeks to a month, I can't remember how long, but took up clearing out the paths because I forgot to keep them clear um, over the winter. And over the winter they grew back in and you couldn't even walk down the path. So that was strenuous, uh, fighting those thorn bushes left and right and clearing it up, the fallen trees, going all the way down the hillside. I got five acres here, so um, the, the path that's the path that I can take a four-wheeler with equipment if anything happens, it's, it's a longer path because it goes out and around and down. And then the fast path is just steep and both paths were filled in and I had to clean them out. So there's always land maintenance that I'll be doing throughout the winter. Hardcore projects are done until next spring. So I'm going to try to focus more on the ministry. Uh, my walk with the Lord, I'm always trying to focus on every day. Brothers and sisters in Christ, please focus on your walk with the Lord and make sure your walk with the Lord is good. Um, look at your life, sanctification. Okay, Am I pleasing God? Is there something in my life that doesn't please God to get out of your life? So uh, I'm going on too much now, but I just want to thank the brothers and sisters in Christ, and I want to say grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, and my love for you in Christ Jesus. Okay. Stand, stand, stand. Be unmovable. Do not faint. Do not falter. I'll see you guys in the next video.